few days ago I was playing around just seeing how low of a best score I could get with each stone. Just know, tell if I was um, using each stone enough to, properly. And kind of surprised at how low I could get with the 250. Matrix 250. So let's do the video and show what we can do. Um, this is a Kershaw Ken Onion with just a standard or cheap stainless, although it's a nice um, fine grain stainless. So anyway, I've already set the bevel, but I'm going to go ahead and give it a few more passes just to make sure I'm getting to the apex. Um, using normal amount of pressure for this stone. Overdoing it since it is the coarsest stone I'm going to use. We'll make sure I get it see burrs and still not be refining the apex. They'll be coming off the end of the bevel and it looks like you're there but you're not. Okay, now to refine it, I'm just going to use the same stone with light, actually no pressure, just the weight of the stone arm itself. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 2, 3, 4, 34. And the idea is with less pressure, the diamonds won't cut as deep into the steel. Seven, eight, nine, forty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, forty eight. We'll go with that. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
7, 8, 9, and 50. So, yep. Feel a little burr on the whole thing. Okay. So now, to deburr it, use a strop, leather strop with a half micron aluminum oxide. Soft white, nice and friable, good for polishing. Um, this isn't a good a hard steel, so it's diamond is too aggressive for it. So since I'm just wanting to lightly deburr it. Also, I guess the strop is about 20 thousandths of an inch thinner than the um, stone, but I do want to make sure I'm getting to the apex with the strop. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And it looks like I'm not deburring it. So I'm just going by eye. You can see a reflection right at the apex there, starting to clean off. And with a loaded strop, you don't want to overdo it. It will certainly be the point where it'll get sharper and sharper and then once you reach optimum it starts to get dull and again no pressure Before and after stropping, looking at the photo, I would say I overdid it with the strop. You can see how the scratches don't quite make it to the apex. The stropped bevel is about three thousandths of an inch wide. Sure, we get it in the center so it's not rubbing on the sides of this frame. Okay. And just Hmm. That's the best score I've had yet with the 250. certainly isn't a mirror polish, but not bad considering how soft the steel is. 